A new nonprofit is looking for ambassadors to help spread water safety and education up and down the West Michigan shoreline. News 8's Megan Bunchman joins us now in studio with more on this story, all new at 4. Michelle and Sue, water safety in the Great Lakes has been top of mind for many over the past couple of summers as Lake Michigan continues to cause countless rescues and deaths during high-risk days. And now a group in Holland is spinning a previous water safety consortium into a nonprofit with a wider reach. As the summer months start to dwindle down, water safety advocates continue to push swimming dangers and education for all. We all know that Lake Michigan is an amazing asset, but not without its dangers. Over the past three years, Lake Michigan has claimed over 100 lives, including 20 this year, most of which were in the Chicago and Wisconsin area when swimming conditions were poor. And while Holland recently established its State Park Water Safety Consortium to address project-based education, like the installation of a digital water conditions billboard and a safety gate into the park, Park Township Supervisor Howard Fink says there's more to be done. The reality is until we make a dent in changing the culture of the Holland area where water education is a component of our psyche and of our culture, that is really when we're going to have an impact impact on reducing the drownings and reducing the incidents uh, on the water. Which is why the consortium, with the help of South Haven's ambassador program, has now established a new nonprofit focused on boots on the ground education, both on the lakeshore itself and within West Michigan schools. And the primary goal and effort of that organization is to educate folks out on the beach uh, on the dangers of uh, structural currents, the dangers of rip currents, and just generally the dangers of swimming in Lake Michigan. The group plans to roll out its first round of ambassadors and safety educators at Holland State Park later on this month. Fink says that while they are still looking to train and educate more local ambassadors, they also want to highlight local businesses and attractions for visitors to enjoy when water conditions aren't ideal, similar to South Haven's Red Flag Day deals. Now, the Department of Natural Resources introduced its double red flag system to the state beaches this past year or so. And on those specific days, those swimming in the water may actually get fined because water rescues are not just dangerous for those persons who are struggling, but also first responders. Sue.